near the fights. A family of four plus our furry friend, Beirut. We've been living in our self-converted van full time since April of 2017. In this episode, we are all ready for Christmas and heading to Colorado with a scenic pit stop on the way. We'll be leaving Mars behind in Dallas for now so he can wrap up work on the hydrofacial tour, but we can't wait for him to join us for Christmas. We left Dallas. I'm driving to Salida, Colorado, and I pulled over, you know, about an hour east of Amarillo at a rest area. Um, tomorrow morning, though, I have a little treat. Hopefully, Lamar's having a good night because he has a lot more space than I do. Woohoo! Good morning. I have something kind of cool we're gonna do today. I've driven through Amarillo a million times on my way to Colorado from Oklahoma when Mars and I used to live there. And I never knew that the second biggest canyon in the United States next to the Grand Canyon is just south of Amarillo. So today we took a little detour and we're gonna go check that out. It's called Palo Duro Canyon State Park. Well, that was fun. Maybe don't eat snow. Mm. The dog probably peed on that. It's or a, a deer. Piece. She's probably eating animal pee right now. I think it's pretty disgusting. But no reasoning with a six year old. He likes hikes. Well, this trail goes that you? way. He's so much happier on my back than in the car seat, huh? I know, Well, you got it, girl. Well, now this is my kind of hike. That last one made me feel kind of like, what? I'm a little disappointed, but now this is a lot better. Because you get to the top and you have these spectacular views all around you. What? Heck yeah, this is a great place to stop if you're going from Texas to Colorado. Put it on your list. Just got back. Look how muddy everything is. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Good boy. Take me to Salida, Colorado. Getting directions to Salida. Six hours and 37 minutes. 400 miles. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get this day started, kids. <laughs> oh. 
I have to say, this has provided me more time to do things that are quite hard to do in the van, especially in the winter, um, such as exercise, meditate, um, just things that you would kind of take for granted doing in a house. Uh, they can be really complicated whenever you have four human beings and a dog living in a van. My name is Atlas Archer, down to down down. I live in a van. My name is Atlas Archer, down down down. down. I, sit, I have six teeth. I like to show them to my friends because they're real neat. We made it to Salida, Colorado. My main goal last night was to get over Raton Pass because snow was coming and I didn't want to get stuck in the snow. Our tires need to be replaced. They're getting kind of bald and I don't have my snow chains with me. I did hit some black ice last night. My brakes locked up when I was going around like a mountain curve and I was like, oh my God, it was so scary. Anyway, spent the night last night here at the Walmart in Salida. I didn't want to try going to the property because I wasn't sure how snowy it would be. and I didn't want to get stuck in the middle of the night. Our heater, so we have a Wabasto heater in our van and it doesn't work at high altitude really. We have to get it set manually and even whenever it's set manually for high altitude where we live on our property at 8500 elevation it's just um it's too high and so it doesn't work unfortunately but it works great at lower elevation we just haven't had it reset since it malfunctioned at high elevation and so it's just really frustrating so we were really cold last night um, I woke up at like 1 o'clock in the morning and then woke up again at 4 o'clock in the morning to like turn on the van and then turn off the van um, just so it's not like running all night long. But that's how we ran our heater and it, it worked. We survived. But it just made me realize like, you know, I really don't know if I want to do winter here in Colorado in the van. So that's something to consider this year. We might just head over to the West Coast. Who knows? I'm too nervous that our tires are too bare to make it back down if we go up. Oh, it's so wonderful being here though. Okay, so we're not gonna make it up to the property. I don't wanna risk, you know, sliding down on that switchback. So, it's 37 degrees. Mars is flying into Denver Christmas Eve, which is in a couple of days. And so we are planning to have Christmas at my parents' house in Denver. And you know what? It's three hours away. I don't want to be in the van in freezing weather with the kids and the dog. So I'm gonna go home and surprise my parents today. I just want a good night's sleep where I'm not freezing So I'm freaking going home. That's what I'm gonna do. I've made up my mind. Merry Christmas mom and dad I am coming back home going to pick up Mars! Ah! <laughs> Hello! Hi! Hi! Hello! 